Have you ever envisioned yourself voyaging through time, meeting historical figures, or witnessing future wonders? Time travel, a concept that has sparked countless imaginations, has often been the centerpiece of many science fiction tales. From H.G. Wells' Time Machine to the beloved Doctor Who, the idea of journeying through the fabric of time has captured our collective fascination. These stories allow us to explore the intriguing notion of altering the past or glimpsing the future. But beyond the realm of fiction, time travel is a complex puzzle that physicists have been trying to piece together. It's a tantalizing enigma that tugs at the very fundamentals of our understanding of the universe. From Einstein's theory of relativity to the strange world of quantum mechanics, our current physics offers intriguing prospects and formidable barriers to the idea of time travel. It's a fascinating journey into the unknown, filled with twists and turns. But is this all just science fiction? Or could we one day truly journey through time? Imagine a train moving at nearly the speed of light. What would time look like for someone on that train? Picture this, you're on a bullet train, blazing through space, nearly matching the speed of light. Meanwhile, your friend is back on Earth, living life at a normal pace. Now, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, time wouldn't flow the same for both of you. This mind-bending concept is known as time dilation. In the simplest terms, time dilation means that time moves slower for someone moving at high speeds compared to someone at rest. It's a bit like running a race where time itself is your competitor. The faster you run, the slower your opponent, time, moves. Let's go back to that bullet train. While you're on board, zipping through space at breakneck speed, time seems normal to you. Your watch ticks away as usual. Your coffee cools down at the same rate. But for your friend back on Earth, your watch is ticking slower. Your coffee is cooling down at a snail's pace. From their perspective, time on the train is moving slower compared to Earth. This isn't just theoretical. GPS satellites moving quickly in space experience time dilation. Their clocks tick slower than ours on Earth. Without compensating for this effect, GPS systems would be off by kilometers. But how does this relate to time travel, you ask? Well, if you were on that high-speed train for, say, five years, and then returned to Earth, you'd find that more than five years had passed for your Earth-bound friend. You've essentially jumped into Earth's future. This is time travel to the future, according to Einstein's theory of relativity. But before you start planning your trip to the future, remember, this is all in theory. We don't yet have the technology to move anything larger than a particle at speeds anywhere close to light speed. So, according to Einstein, time travel to the future is possible, at least in theory, but what about going back in time? Imagine for a moment that you could walk through a door and end up in the past. This is the strange world of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics, a cornerstone of modern physics, is a theory that describes the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. It's a realm where reality as we know it takes a back seat and the bizarre takes the wheel. At this microscopic level, particles can exist in multiple places at once, pop in and out of existence, and even tunnel through barriers. Now, let's bring our door back into the picture. In the everyday world, if a door is locked, you can't walk through it. But in the quantum realm, there's a tiny chance you could. This is known as quantum tunneling, a phenomenon where particles can pass through barriers that should be insurmountable. How does this relate to time travel, you might ask? Well, some physicists speculate that if quantum tunneling can allow particles to overcome spatial barriers, it might also allow them to overcome temporal ones. In other words, could a particle tunnel its way back in time? This is where the concept of quantum superposition comes into play. It's the idea that a particle can be in two places at once until it's observed. So in theory, a particle could exist in the present and the past simultaneously. And if a particle can do it, why not us? But before you start planning your trip to the Jurassic era or the Renaissance, there's a catch. While quantum mechanics opens up exciting possibilities, it also presents significant challenges. The rules and equations that govern the quantum world are incredibly complex and still not fully understood. Moreover, we're not particles. At our scale, we're subject to the laws of classical physics. How to reconcile these two worlds, the quantum and the classical, 
is one of the biggest conundrums in physics today. Quantum mechanics gives us a glimmer of hope for time travel to the past, but there are still many hurdles to overcome. But before you start packing for your time travel adventure, there are a few snags to consider. Now, let's delve into the practical and theoretical constraints of time travel. Imagine for a moment that you're trying to climb Mount Everest. It's not just about the right climbing gear. You need a phenomenal amount of energy, skill, and of course, a bit of luck. Similarly, the energy requirements for time travel are astronomical. To warp the fabric of space-time, you'd need something with the mass of a star or the energy equivalent. That's like trying to fuel your car with a supernova. Not exactly practical, right? Then, there's the infamous paradoxes. Picture this. You travel back in time and accidentally prevent your parents from meeting. So, you're never born. But if you're never born, how could you have traveled back in time in the first place? This is known as the grandfather paradox, and it's a real pickle for physicists. Some suggest that the universe would resolve this by creating a new timeline or parallel universe. But that's just a theory. And let's not forget about the inherent uncertainties of quantum mechanics. Quantum theory is like that friend who's always changing their mind. One moment an electron is here, the next, it's over there. It's all about probabilities. Now apply this to time travel. Even if you could travel back in time, there's no guarantee you'd end up where you intended. You might find yourself in the middle of a desert instead of your childhood home. Moreover, the same uncertainty applies to the future. Even if we could jump forward in time without knowing the exact state of the universe at the point we're aiming for, we could end up anywhere or anywhen. So, while time travel is a tantalizing concept, it's riddled with complications that make it seem less like a future reality and more like a fascinating thought experiment. Time travel, it seems, is not as straightforward as it appears in the movies. So, is time travel possible? The answer is complicated. We've journeyed through the enigma of time travel, from the bends and warps of Einstein's theory of relativity to the perplexing possibilities presented by quantum mechanics. Each of these theories opens doors to intriguing prospects, but they also set boundaries on our understanding of the universe and how we might traverse the temporal realm. Let's recap our temporal expedition. The theory of relativity, with its time dilation and space-time fabric, hints at the possibility of time travel. It suggests that with enough speed or gravity, time can be stretched and squeezed, potentially allowing for journeys into the future. But what about the past? That's where quantum mechanics steps in, a theory that's no stranger to the bizarre and unimaginable. It introduces concepts like quantum superposition and entanglement, which hint at the idea that particles, and perhaps even we, could exist in multiple places and times simultaneously. This could theoretically give us a backdoor to the past. But amid these tantalizing possibilities, there are constraints. The energy required for such feats is beyond our current capabilities. Then there's the paradox problem. What happens if you travel back in time and alter events? Could you cause a chain reaction that negates your own existence? These mind-boggling questions present real challenges to the concept of time travel. So, where does this leave us? Time travel as it stands is a dance with the laws of physics. It's a tantalizing tango that teeters on the edge of possibility and impossibility. Our current understanding of the universe both opens doors and sets limits. It's like having a key to a door, but not quite knowing how to turn the lock. Perhaps, in time, we'll find the answers. Maybe we'll discover new physics, or perhaps we'll learn to dance more elegantly with the laws we already know. But as it stands, time travel is an enigma, a puzzle that's as fascinating as it is complex. Until we have more answers, time travel remains a tantalizing possibility, an enigma wrapped in the fabric of time itself.